So welcome to tonight's online meditation class. I'm Peter Radcliffe and I'm going to be taking you through uh, different meditations each week. I thought that to begin with, we would do some meditations on healing and uh, I guess immune system uh, bolstering because it's quite topical at the moment that we all want to stay as healthy as possible. And so uh, I thought that would be a, a great uh, topic for this meditation and the next few Fridays. And um, I will be changing it up so we do a different meditation each Friday. Um, and this is also a class uh, which people can have a look at. And if it helps you design your own classes, then uh, that, that's wonderful. And that way we can have as many different meditation classes on different topics each week. But as I said, the meditation class that we're going to do today is on boosting the immune system and staying healthy. Now, my particular belief is that um, we are born, so the scientists tell us, with DNA and we start off with one cell, which is a combination of mother and father. And every part of our body is encoded in that DNA molecule. And so from there we expand and we become a beautiful, perfect human being. And so with that knowledge, I understand that we have a blueprint of perfect health within every cell of our body encoded into our DNA. So our body knows how to be healthy and it knows how to heal itself because our body can go back to that original blueprint of uh, perfect health whence it came from, from, from our DNA structure. What happens though is due to negative emotions and negative thoughts, uh, we cause blockages in our system and we upset that balance and that can lead us to ill health. So in this meditation, we're going to combine the power of mindfulness, which is uh, you know, becoming uh, in the present moment to allow our body to do what it does naturally, which is to heal itself. Now there are two aspects to healing, which I believe are most important. And the first aspect is to rid ourselves of negativities. And those negativities, I guess, come in different forms. There are physical negativities, which are toxins in the body. Uh, there are emotional negativities, uh, which are anger, hatred, jealousy, that sort of thing. There are mental negativities like I'm not good enough, uh, thought patterns where, you know, I'm a sick person, just the way we think about things. And possibly there are even spiritual negativities, which are the way we understand the universe, our contemplation of the universe. And all of these uh, block our ability to have perfect health. And so the meditation that I'm going to do first is a Tibetan meditation where we visualize light coming and cleaning all of those negativities out of us. And then uh, Dinesh is going to take over and he's going to do a second meditation, which is visualizing the blueprint of perfect health and we're empowering the different parts of our immune system. So are there any questions on what we're going to be doing in these two meditations? They're both guided meditations uh, before we begin. Good. All right. Uh, I'm going to just make sure everyone's on silent. Um, and I've got a bell here. I wouldn't mind testing my bell. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. is my Tibetan bell so you can let me know if uh, if that actually works or if it doesn't come through on the computer too well 
<clears throat> so we'll go for about 10 minutes. So get in a comfortable position. When we're ready, we will start. So as the sound of the bell resonates to a finish, begin by taking a few deep breaths and coming into the present moment and becoming mindful. Mindful, mindfulness is simply a being completely aware of the present moment, becoming an aware of the feelings of your body, becoming aware of my voice coming through the speakers and becoming aware of the thoughts in your mind. As you become aware of the present moment, we're going to now take into consideration our body and think that through our life we've created negativities, sometimes of our own doing, other times social memes or social ideas that are, we take on board. And these have caused us emotional uh, unbalance and even physical ill health. Now, if you're spiritual in nature, whether you belong to a certain religion or have a certain spirituality, we're going to request the essence of a higher power. And you can imagine light coming from above through your body to help wash away all the negativities of body, emotions, mind. And if you're not spiritual or you're just doing this, nevertheless, still imagine the light of the universe, healing light full of energy, the warmth of the sun, the healing of all positive plants and animals and minerals, the essence of nature. You can imagine that flowing through you. And as it does so, you can pray or you can visualize releasing all of those things that we mistakenly took on board and have caused us blockages. So visualize the light coming through your crown and down through all the veins and vessels of your body, washing out all the negativities, whether they be bacteria or viruses, cleansing your lungs, cleansing your arteries. Maybe clearing out blockages in your liver and kidneys and intestines, in your muscles of your arms and your legs and your heart, wherever you feel you need healing, imagine those negativities flowing out. Imagine them flowing out into the ground around you. 
as well. Visualize any negativity, negative emotions that you may have had and that may be held in your psyche. Anger, desire, greed, pride, hatred, jealousy, loneliness, and especially imagine stress and depression and anxiety just being released. What I like to do is imagine that even though these are negative energy, originally all of this energy came from one source. So imagine it washing down. You can imagine it coming out of your feet or out your lower orifices or whatever and going back into the earth and like fertilizer going back and becoming one with the original energy again. So as you visualize all of these negative emotions being washed away, feel the healing power of this light. Next, visualize all the creaking noises, all the movement going out of your body. And visualize even at a level of thought, any negative thought patterns also being released. Washing away all of those negative thought patterns, leaving you still, leaving your body healthy, your mind still and peaceful. And so by getting rid of negativities like this, it brings us into a stillness and it brings us into a mindfulness, which can then allow us to be ready to empower ourselves with the positive energies of the universe. Now this purification meditation or a form of it has been around literally for thousands of years. And just by doing this, people have been able to cure themselves of all types of both diseases and negative emotions. Allowing, imagining things to be running out of you like black ink. I remember one boy imagined himself like a sponge being squeezed and imagining all the dirt just running out. And then as he opened himself up, he was filled with pure water. This visualization is an incredibly powerful way to quickly get rid of negativities, which are not only causing you ill health, but also uh, negative emotions and stressful thoughts. To conclude the meditation, imagine this light now filling you up full of beautiful, warm light. All the way up to the crown chakra. And if you imagine, if you are spiritual in nature, imagine the deity coming and resting at your heart and protecting you into the future from any future negativities. We'll finish there. So come back into the room. And open your eyes.
All right, before we go on to the second meditation of the evening, um, are there any questions in regards to that one? Feel free to just unmute yourself and um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. How did you like it? Put your hands up if you enjoyed that meditation. Good. All right. I did this meditation actually, or a form of this meditation for around four months <laughs> in retreat. So it's a very, very powerful meditation. Uh, it was done with a little bit more spectacular Buddhist type of theory, but it was basically that meditation. I feel it draining, Peter. Yeah, draining out. Uh, the no, I mean, I feel a bit drained at the minute, yeah. 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 Well, if you do this long enough... In a nice way. Yeah. I, I did this for uh, like a, a few weeks and even my dreams changed. I dreamed I was purified. I was, it was quite amazing. Um, there was a little bit of background noise. Did you hear that through the speakers? Just out of interest? Yeah. So I'll have to be sure of that. Uh, now, Dinesh, you dropped out and then dropped back in. You came back in again. Right. Yeah. Um, so Dinesh, are you happy to uh, take us through the empowerment of the um, of the immune system? I will. I will mute myself, and I can let you take over if, if you like. Oh sure. Is, is that okay? All right. Oh, so yes. Dinesh is going to take us through a second meditation. Um, so when you're ready, Dinesh, I'm going to mute myself and I'll hand over to you. Wait, 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 wait. I'm okay. confused. So we are going for the second system, system and that is the setting the goal effectively. Is it that? Uh, it's the script that I sent you um, with regards to the immune system uh, en energization. No, this is altogether different. And the script which you have already stated the meditation is the same thing. So shall I go with the different one with the mail which you have sent just now? Uh, as long as it's a healing meditation, yeah, I, I sent it. Yeah, I sent it to you in the email now. Yeah. Would you like to do that one? Otherwise, I'm happy to do it. Please, please, please. Yeah. Please continue this time because I'm confused. What I'm thinking is the script which you have sent. I'm supposed to read the script. Well, yeah, I mean, the idea for, for those people, the idea is that people will come with their own meditation. Uh, right. I, do, I do have lots of scripts which I can help people with. You're more than welcome to. Uh, but but if, if any of any of you I'm talking to everybody, if anyone would like to present with me in the future, you're more than welcome to do so. And um, if you have one of your own meditations, then I'm absolutely more than happy to have you present that and I'd love to hear some different meditations. So don't, don't feel like you have to do one of our meditations, but of course we do have a library of meditations which you can use or even adapt uh, for yourself. Right. I'll, I'll go ahead and do this meditation yes. for now and, and maybe next time if you'd like to do a meditation, Dinesh, just let me know and we can yes. do that. So, the next meditation is uh, continuing on from when I talked about the uh, immune system. Our body has a healing mechanism in itself. And sometimes all we need to do is just get out of the way for our natural healing system to, to begin. Now, one thing that I've learned in meditation is when you become peaceful, and you turn your mind in to the body, the body likes the attention of your mind. It's, it's like giving it gratitude for all the work that it's doing for you. And you can feel yourself getting better. Like you can feel yourself healing when you give it enough focus in the body. So in this next meditation, we're really going to kind of bring the mind into the body and not only will you heal yourself, you may start to feel, uh, you know, a sense of bliss. <clears throat> so, if there's no questions, I'm going to ring my bell again. Was the bell okay? Yes. 
<laughs> Is that okay? I don't know how it comes through on the speakers. So, uh, but when you're ready, oh, so I'm going to mute you, Dinesh, so that we've got no noise coming through. Okay, and I think we're free of noise on my end, so this one should be a lot better. So just relax and close your eyes and allow yourself to drift away. If you'd like to open your eyes, that's fine as well. It's your choice whether you'd like to keep your eyes lightly closed or slightly open. Now, what is important when you're in a relaxed posture is your, to bring your mind into the moment. Mindfulness is the most powerful healing force that we have in our life. And we're going to use this power today to strengthen our immune system. And the best part of this process is that it can make you feel good at the same time. So to bring more mindfulness into the present moment, a little simple meditation that I like is just to become aware of our five senses. So, if you have your eyes open, you could decide, you know, what can you see around you? Think of a couple of things that you can see. If you've got your eyes closed, just to see if you can actually perceive the colors behind your eyelids. Sometimes you can see red or blue. Be also aware of what you can hear other than my voice. Do you hear sounds in the background? Are you aware of anything that you can smell? Maybe there's a lingering smell, either a good one or a bad one. We're not too worried about that, just bringing your mind to the sense of smell. Maybe there's a taste, a lingering taste in your mouth. And finally, the sense of feeling. What can you feel as you relax back in your chair. The reason why using your senses is a good meditation is that it forces you to go into the present moment, which is where all mindfulness occurs. As you become aware of the sense of feeling, maybe you can compare how you feel now to before you started the meditation. Do you feel more relaxed? Just being in the uh, sense of feeling will make you feel good. So in this today's crisis of COVID-19, it's our responsibility to stay as healthy as possible. And to do this, we need a strong immune system. So in this meditation, we're going to uh, visualize our immune system getting completely strong. Now, this ability is hardwired into our DNA as a gift from our ancestors. So we just need to relax and let our unconscious mind do what it knows how to do best. This amazing defense system has a blueprint and can send out white cells to all the different parts of our body, destroying infection, boosting the immune system. So be grateful that you've been given this power of healing from our ancestors, which is hard coded into our body. And now we're going to visualize each part of our immune system becoming stronger and more healthy. So if you like, you can imagine white light coming in from outside as we did in the previous meditation. Or you can just visualize and trust that your unconscious mind will help create stronger, more vital organs to help you fight off any type of infection or disease and heal the body in general. Imagine the light now or giving strength to each part 
of this immune system. And with gratitude, think about how each part plays a role in your overall immunity. The main one being the front line, which is our white blood cells, millions of them coursing through our veins and our arteries to the very extremities of our body, like little soldiers on patrol, looking for any damaged material or any infection or any bacteria which to fight. Our white blood cells do an amazing ability. Then there's our antibodies looking again to fight against any infection, purify and cleanse all the different parts of our body where there might be damage of some sort. There's the complement system, which is part of our defense system, part of our nervous system, allowing us to help us detect where that damage is. And then there's the lymphatic system, which is like the drainage canals. As our muscles are used and create waste products, it's our lymph system which gradually pulls away all of those negative products and cleanses them in the kidneys and spleen and that sort of thing. So as we go through each of these parts of our immune system, imagine sending light to those and be absolutely so grateful that we have all of these incredible gifts to help us heal. And knowing that our mind is being aware of these systems, these systems in return feel good and can help us further by maintaining a strong immune system. The next part of our immune system is our spleen. Cleansing all the different parts, our blood, cleansing our blood. And then there's the bone marrow where all the white blood cells and red blood cells are created right in the center of our bones. The very essence one could say of our body, our bone marrow. Visualizing it becoming more powerful, able to create whatever the body needs in terms of blood. The thymus gland, a vital part of our immune system. And the liver, cleansing all toxins out of our body so that they can be excreted and gotten rid of out of the body. The liver is one of the most important parts as well. And the kidneys for the liquids to send all of those toxins that we don't need into our urine. All of this purification and parts of the body to fight off toxins. Imagine how they become more powerful and more intelligent. Each system has a, an intelligence of its own, able to detect and fight any illnesses in the body. And each part of the system literally feels, feels with light that you're sending it and become stronger to do its duty. And the best thing is that a strong immune system makes us feel good as well. And you can keep the mindfulness on feelings of the body. And you may be delighted to notice that you are feeling stronger and calmer at the same time.
Feel the health returning to all parts of the body, gradually energizing you. As you again become aware of the five senses. And begin to open your eyes and come back, staying in that state of calmness and that state of healing so that you can go on from here into the rest of your life, keeping a part of that feeling of mindfulness throughout your day. All right, thank you very much. Um, again, I must say that I've, uh, I've forgotten to switch it over to the unlimited edition. So we're actually going to disconnect in about 30 seconds. I apologize for that. What I will do is I will reconnect if any of you would like to speak to me afterwards. Um, I'm more than happy to answer your questions. So when you get disconnected from this Zoom call, please feel free to give it a minute and then join in again if you would like. Otherwise, thank you for this meditation session and uh, I wish you the, 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 uh, a lovely day <laughs> uh, for the rest of your day or an evening for those people uh, in Australia. So we'll, we'll end it there. I'll be, I'm more than happy to take more questions uh, on the other side of this if you reconnect. Thank you. That's fine.